Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a mid-March reading. Can you guys believe it? We're already approaching mid-March. I feel like it's going to be April, May, and the summer before we know it. So um, let's see what's going on with you guys. Thank you guys for always supporting me. You're my biggest fans. Um, continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Commenting is really big. I love hearing from you guys. I love um, hearing your comments, hearing your stories, and connecting with you guys, okay? So uh, let's see, I'm going to pull three mystical shaman. I may need to use the book to clarify, but um, I usually only pull one, but for these mid-March, I'm pulling three. So the overall energies for Libra as we go into mid-March here. Jaguar. I feel like this is like a fierce energy. Water. I was just thinking I never pulled that yesterday. An eagle. This is really crazy because it's like a land animal, an air animal, and then we've got water. So it's almost like all the elements here except for fire. Let's see what it says about the jaguar here. Number 56. The invitation, jaguar calls you to explore beyond the walls that confine you, to go outside your normal routine, to push your limits and boundaries. She is delivering an invitation from your own future to investigate the unknown, to venture into the mystery and the dark places that you have been reluctant to explore. Toss all caution to the wind. Know that your jaguar instinct will serve you well. What in your life needs to be released? What have you carried around with you too long? Which is ready to let go of once and for all? Jaguar medicine is available to heal the fear so you can allow it to go. That's why I said, like, this is a really fierce, powerful energy of, like, facing the darkness and look at his eyes all right her eyes so i just want to kind of get an overview of all these and then i'm going to delve deeper into it okay so let's see what it says about water which we know what water is obviously but um let's just see when water arrives, you're invited to watch your emotions. Know they're going to be changeable and do not settle on a conclusion at this time. If you feel joy, feel it fully. If you feel sad, allow soundness, sadness to move through you. Water invites you to see the ebb and flow of events and trust you could ride the wave of opportunity when it arises. Natural flow is here. Go with it. All right. And then we've got the eagle. Let's see. Have you become trapped in your daily routine and feel you do not know where to go and what to do next? Have you lost your sense of purpose? Eagle invites you to take a deep breath and spread your wings. When was the last time you opened them? Eagle reminds you that there, your spirit was born to soar to the heavens. As you contemplate choices, ask yourself, do I want to live in a chicken coop sheltered from life, counting... Uh, the regular feedings or do I want to soar like an eagle if your answer is the latter then you must accept eagle's invitation and embrace the courage that will help you choose freedom wow so I feel like this is like if you look at this like a story it's kind of going into the deepest darkest emotions that you have uncovering it and using this opportunity to soar it's really beautiful all right, so you guys have got a lot going on for you. I want to pull some tarot to get clarity on this message, okay? But um, I think if you have the courage to explore these, like, the moon, like, the underworld inside of you, then you'll have the power to, like, rise above, okay? So let's see what other messages I could get. Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune Reversed, and Page of Cups. Wow. Wow. Okay, so um, what I feel is that um, with the Eight of Cups clarifying the Jaguar, it's kind of like go to those places that are needing to be uncovered and then like move forward beyond them, okay? Walk away from anything hindering you, anything stopping you from having the courage to move forward. Abandon these things that have held you back, that have kept you in like a lower vibration too. It could also be that you have abandonment issues because Eight of Cups is all about leaving something behind. So go deep into yourself, uncover those parts of yourself, have the courage to face that and then release it, okay? Then we've got Wheel of Fortune Reverse clarifying water. So what I feel like this is saying is that like know that like emotions are ever changing and if you rely on your reality to view your reality through your emotions, you're kind of going to remain in this like unstable place. So kind of feel your emotions like it was saying, but don't um, define yourself by them or, you know, think that that's always the fact because then you're going to kind of be unhinged and unstable. Okay. But also looking at the emotions of like 
disappointments like that things didn't go your way or things didn't move forward the way you want or fate didn't feel like it was on your side maybe this these emotions of disappointment of expectation kind of looking at that but like releasing that as well and then we've got page of cups clarifying the eagle so um what I kind of get with this is that this is a Pisces energy but it also we're getting a lot of water energy for you guys I feel like this is like, yes, you want to be strong and soar above, but you also want to be gentle. Like, you don't want to be too extreme in a way, because I feel like the Page of Cups is uh, very, like, gentle still. So you still want to remain soft around the edges. I know that's kind of like a weird message, but um, you want to be fierce, but you also want to be, like, compassionate and keep, like, that Libra softness to you, okay? And... Um, have your move forward in a fierce way but still keep your heart open okay all right beautiful messages so far all right we're gonna go into the relationship dynamic here okay i just started drinking coffee again after months of not drinking so if i'm a little hyped up that's why all right libra so sun moon rising venus jupiter cross watchers what is going on with your relationship dynamic? I feel like the last one I did for, what was it? God, I can't even keep up with my readings. Not the wolf moon. I mean the worm moon, the other one. Or something else that I was doing. Maybe it was the worm moon. I don't know. It's like a pretty powerful message for you guys romantically. So if you guys want to go back and watch my last Libra, meet, Libra reading, um, you know, you might get some clarity there, okay? Actually, I'm ending up pulling four different decks for each pile that I'm making here. So that's just the way it's going to be. So I decided to add the tarot. All right. Yeah, they, there was something like significant romantically going on with you guys in the last reading I did. I can't keep up anymore, but. All right. So Libras, what is going on in this relationship dynamic? Queen of Cups, another water energy, spirit of the Grim Reaper, death ending winter, pause. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. We just got the Eight of Cups and now we got this letting go energy and this death. So I feel that, you know, the emotions that you guys both felt when something ended is was on both of your parts, okay? You could have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but that eight of cups is like you someone definitely walked away and i feel like that's where the jaguar comes in it was like a death for both of you okay it was like a death of your identity so i don't think it was just on one side okay because this person is saying that and i feel like what's best is like just to take a pause and to honor this death to honor this transformation and to know that it was really significant and it's okay to feel like the feelings of that okay with the queen of cups i think also this situation made you more intuitive made you more like even if you're on like a healer path or a light worker it made you more able to help others the situation really was like a death of your former self okay and i think it was kind of for that person too let me just pull a card for my twin flame poetic confessions and get you could have been dealing with a scorpio definitely with the death and winter separated they think i'm whole but they don't know from true love i chose to run i know we will never i am afraid we will never have our moment under the sun i do feel that you and this person separated and it was an extreme death for both of you and i think this person kind of makes it seem like they're fine but i think that this separation was a lot harder than you know you thought it was spirit of the pentacle faith whole unity the sun, wow, beautiful, Leo energy, but also illumination, joy, returning, okay? So it's like the sun will come up after this rainbow. I want to feel that way again. This person feels like you were the sun. You were my sun, you were my earth. That T Justin Timberlake song. But you didn't know all the ways I loved you. Cycles. So I think this person's going through this cycle right now where they're like missing the way they felt with you, okay? And you brought out this joyful feeling. You made them feel like a child again. And you also felt that way with them. So I feel like you both yearn for that feeling that you guys both gave each other. It could have been twin flames here, okay? You both want to be, I feel like, unified, not just with each other, but within yourselves. Wow. 
spirit of the book, new chapter development, unfinished business. So I think there could definitely be a rekindling of this situation. Queen of Wands reversed. Sag Aries Leo energy. I'm just, just being near you is intoxicating. And return, that's, this is my second return card. So, um, oh, well, we have returned an unfinished business. So I do feel like this person is going to make a return. I feel like they can't like keep away from you. And without them, they've cut, without you, they've kind of lost their zing. All right. They want to feel that way again. All right. Very interesting. So pull a card from here. Actually, I'm going to pull one from here and one from Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 and get more clarity on that. So what's some final messages for Libra? This person definitely could be a water sign, a Leo, a Sag, or an Aries. Final messages here for Libra. I just realized you were my sun, you were my earth. In the beginning, we had the earth, the air, the water. So it's like every element. I'm still haunted by my actions, chills, confirmation. So you guys both might be getting these constant signs that like remind you of this person. You could have heard something in this reading that gave you a confirmation and know that that's just a, a sign that you're on the right path and your intuition is right on target, especially here with the Queen of Cups. You guys are very highly in tuned right now, okay? Beautiful, beautiful reading, guys. So I hope you guys got a lot out of that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.